Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So, today we are going to discuss about hash table in Java and how it works internally. Let us get started. What is a hash table? A hash table is an implementation of key value pair data structure in Java. Let us first try to understand how a hash table looks like. A hash table consists of buckets in which it stores key value pairs as entry object. A single entry can be stored inside a bucket. Multiple entry objects are stored in form of a linked list inside a bucket. In such case each entry keeps track of another. Now we will be trying to understand hash table from a pictorial representation. As we can see in this diagram a bucket can have a single entry or can have multiple entry as a linked list. Here bucket 0 and bucket n has multiple entry. Let us first understand the key object. The key object of a hash table must override object.hash code and object.equals method. The key's hash code determines the bucket where to store the entry. The equals method compares the keys while retrieving a single entry from multiple entry objects stored as linked list in a bucket. What does collision in hash table mean? When hashing function's output is restricted within the allocated address specture limit, there is a possibility of collision. For example, it can so happen that two different keys might return the same hash code. Then it is said to be a collision. Java uses separate chaining for collision resolution in hash table. What is separate chaining collision resolution? In separate chaining collision resolution mechanism, every bucket will store reference to a linked list. When an entry, key and value is to be stored, the bucket determined by hash code will reference to a linked list which will store the entry. When another key refers to the same bucket for a different entry, it will be stored as an adjacent entry to the existing linked list. While retrieving a value which is stored in a hash table, the key's hash code is computed. If it directs to a bucket with multiple entry objects, then those are sequentially scanned and compared using keys equals method. This is how the correct entry is then retrieved. Understanding the performance of a hash table. For better performance we need to use these two points wisely while instantiating. 1. Initial capacity. Number of buckets to be created at time of instantiating. 2. Load factor determines when to automatically increase size of hash table. Understanding initial capacity, we have to understand that the number of buckets and collision probability is inversely proportional. So if we choose more bucket capacity, then collision probability will be less. The default value is 11. Understanding the load factor, the default value of load factor is 0.75. New capacity is calculated as twice the old capacity plus 1. We have to choose the LAN factor and initial capacity very wisely. If we get lesser capacity than load factor, then often it needs to rehash, which will cause performance issues. For efficiency, keep initial capacity 25% extra than needed and load factor as 0.75.
we will be looking at the hash table constructors. Hash table accepts either initial capacity or both of them. Did you know? Java.util.hash table extends dictionary class and implements map interface. Hash table is slower than hash map. Hash table can be traversed by enumerator and iterator. Hash table is synchronized, so it is thread safe. Hash table is a legacy class. Hash table does not allow null key or value because hash code and equals on null would throw null pointer exception. So Java came up with hash map. So that is pretty much for hash table. Check out our next topic how hash map works internally in Java. If you like this video, then please subscribe.